Hey everyone, if you have rare US and world coins you want to sell, watch this video till the end and I'll show you where you can post them for sale. The rarest of the proof Lincoln cents is a 1909 VDB. Only 1194 coins were produced, and yet this issue is even scarcer than that Mintage suggests. Later mod proofs such as 1915 and 1916 have even lower mintage and yet they are more plentiful today than the 1909 VDB. Some researchers suggest that only part of reported mintage was ever released, which if true would account for scarcity of this issue today. Any 1909 VDB proof sent is scarce but the coins with original mint red are decidedly rare. This particular specimen displays fire orange surfaces, accented with wisps of lavender and olive color on the high points of Lincoln's portrait, which are blatantly original, bleeding to a lighter golden color around the outer peripheries. It was sold for $33,600 at heritage auctions. Here is 1960 Franklin half dollar in MS67 condition, with full bell lines designation. A registry collector's dream coin, the superb gem full bell lines, 1960 Franklin half dollar is one of two finest at PCGS. The coin is nearly flawless when viewed beneath a loop, and radiant frosty luster rolls effortlessly over each side. Most of the interiors display ice blue toning, while the borders have deeper forest green, crimson gold, and russet coloration. Eye appeal is as superb as a preservation. It was sold for $28,200 at heritage auction. Proceeding with his 1969 S. Lincoln Sands, a famous double diverse variety, graded as AU58 by PCGS. AU stands for About and Circulated. The 1969 S. Double Die Lincoln Sands is the premier rarity in the series for variety collectors. It is also a major variety outside of Lincoln Sands specialists, ranking the second in Schechter and Garrett's 100 Greatest U.S. Modern Coins, the third edition. This piece showcases beautiful sea green and blue toning over interiors, with original copper red luster clinging to the protected portions of the fields. High point fiction is trivial and eye appeal is outstanding for the great. Die doubling is evident on the date, all letterings, and Lincoln's bow tie, sold for $28,800 at heritage auctions. This is 1958 Washington Quarter in PR69 deep cameo condition. Hints of light gold toning enhance the aesthetic desirability of this nearly flawless superb gem proof. It is nearly perfect example that has deeply mirrored fields and frosty highly lustrous surfaces. A conditionally rare coin, it was sold for $8,518.75 at heritage auctions. Here is 1962 Jefferson Nickel in MS67 condition with full steps. The term MS67 refers to the coins grade according to the Sheldon coin grading scale. A coin with an MS67 grade is considered to be in excellent condition, showing only very minor imperfections or blemishes. It typically has a sharp strike, good luster, and attractive eye appeal. In the case of 1962 Jefferson Nickel, an MS67 grade signifies a coin that is well preserved and showcases the original details of the design. The term full steps refers to the specific condition of the steps on the reverse side of the Jefferson Nickel. They are fully delineated, sold for $2,981.25 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. And this is 1950s Lincoln Sand in MS68 red condition, a beautifully preserved example. The sole finest 1950s Lincoln Sand certified by PCGS. Pristine surfaces yield pumpkin orange luster and rich satiny texture. The coin is entirely devoid of spots with sharp design elements and incredible eye appeal. An essential acquisition for the registry collector sold for $10,800 at heritage auctions. Thanks for watching guys, keep following us on YouTube and don't forget to hit the like button. See you in the 